Oh, like a one-off thing. And is maybe like, they have a way of accelerate like incubation for sure. Right. They too, have some right? sort of time yeah. that we know they have some sort of technology that affects time. If you look at this case, so it's like, maybe they can do something to speed up this process, but like maybe they're picking up like fish and elk from here. And then some fucking glees orbs and gliz ops from another planet. Right. <laughs> Who fucking knows? And they're just, they're just breeding this. And, and same with the humans there. Like the humans there are like, they're like, they don't know it yet, but they're the food. Yeah, right? I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, and so um, like uh, Carl would also suffer from from other kind of like uh, afflictions while he was there. Like we said before, like he had like a severe light sensitivity for like the first day or two. Like they they said like the nurse like had to like turn off the lights and like put like a washcloth over his eyes because he would kept saying like the light was hurting his well, eyes. He had his- his eye, he had that kind of like uh, that flash burn when he was on the ship, right? When he came down to their planet. Yeah. And they said, mm, like, right. it was enough to remark on that they said, like, he had his, his eyes were bloodshot. Like, they were, they were noticeably bloodshot um, when they brought him in. Um, and, and, like, and yeah. like, yeah, and watery the whole time. Like, that was one of the things that I remember. It was like, like, he, his eyes were just almost like he was crying, but he wasn't. His eyes were just water, like they were damaged. <laughs> um, so after his, like, three day, uh, you know, three day stint in the hospital recovering from, from the whole event. Um, it didn't really take long for a number of media outlets to kind of get a hold of the story. And, you know, he had a local, he had various local newspapers calling him for interviews. Um, like, the, like the days after he had gotten out, like almost like the day he got out, like people were calling about it. Like, it, you know, the, the sheriffs had probably, um, already put the story out and all of this. Um, even the, uh, aerial phenomena research organization, like APRO was, was like the equivalent of MUFON or like proto MUFON, uh, back in the day, uh, was looking, uh, towards him, like, like contacted him and like some investigators from the organization actually like got in touch with him, you know, talked to him about his, uh, uh, about his, his experience. Um, so like, and then like, Weeks later, uh, like November 2nd of 1974, um, APRO had their consultant and professor of psychology at the University of Wyoming, Dr. Everybody's favorite regression oh. hypnotist, Dr. Leo Sprinkle. Dr. Sprinkle. Dr. Sprinkle. <laughs> yeah, the, Dr. Sprinkle. Um, Tamar, uh, yeah, believe, right? He passed away, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Away. Right. All right. Um, th- this year? Or was it last year? Last year. This year? Was this year? Last year? I think it was last year. Um, the last bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so D- Dr. Leo Sprinkle, who had been on, you know, a number of countless cases, invested countless cases, um, you know, utilizing his, his experience and, um, you know, his expertise with, uh, regression hypnosis, which was the, uh, favored technique of the day. Oh. Um, just about a year today, he passed away. And, uh, man, I still need to talk about him. <laughs> I just, yeah. I feel like we do talk about him like every time around this year. It's always like a Leo Sprinkle. Yeah, it's just around November, subconsciously yeah. comes up, probably. Um, uh, so, so Sprinkle would actually. He said that he spent over four hours with the Higdens, like the entire family. Uh, you know, trying to, you know, get information out and and trying to, um, you know, get a little bit more information about what what. Carl said like he couldn't remember at the time um, on the first attempt of, of, of you know, when he, um, uh, he performed hypnotic regression uh, sprinkle reported that there weren't any really remarkable results. Like nothing really right, came out, you know, he performed the, the relaxation techniques. He got, well, he kind of gave, um, you know, he gave like a uh, Carl, like a couple of relaxation techniques to kind of, you know, get him into the, you know, the hypnotic regression state, you know, that more, that conducive state of which you would be able to, uh, re- more easily retrieve those memories that he either blocked out due to trauma or something like that. And then, um, but on the second attempt, uh, which was about two weeks later, he said that there were, the car would, was able to provide a bit more information about the encounter. And that's where you get, um, some of the things that Higdon talked about that he figured uh, that he remembered that, that the reason that the, these human beings were brought to this alien world was for breeding. Like he got that or he was, he, he, um, he remembers being under the impression that the aliens had 
harvested these primarily young humans, except for, I guess, the 50 year old guy that he saw yeah. <laughs> and, and we're using them in some type of propagation program. Um, oh, fuck. And so his, his theory, well, which the was not 50 year old, like that's the thing about men, though. Men keep producing yeah. for, sperm for a long time. time. It's like a virile fucking, um, and, and so that's that's a that's a reason why now he, he remembers this. Um, this is the, a reason why Carl uh, feels that when they told him that he didn't suit their purpose was due to the fact that in 1965 he had undergone that vasectomy, so he wasn't able to fill that role, yeah. of which it, they I it, guess they thought that he was going to take on after they picked him up. Yeah, um, nowhere. It maybe makes me think that if he wasn't. <laughs> didn't have a vasectomy we may have never seen or heard from carl again he would have yeah, just been, been a missing forever. hunter right and then you think about that in that sense missing hunter you know how many missing 411 cases of people going missing in national park missing hunters people go in the woods then they'll come back part of me is i'm like are these people getting all picked right up? so we need to run across reference of People Berries, who been, boulders, who, people who have alien abduction experiences and vasectomies. And have vasectomies, <laughs> and vasectomies. <laughs> once have been returned. Yeah, it's the, so, like, the, hey, listen, if I needed any more fucking encouragement to get a vasectomy now, perfect. You got it, boys. <laughs> Gonzo. Well, it's the fact that they would actually bring you back and not just like chuck you out the airlock or something. <laughs> well, they pretty much did, though. They threw his ass down a cliff. <laughs> yeah, they just tossed him out. Yeah, they like, uh, fucking beat it, buddy. Now, uh, again, the weirdest thing to me in this one is like you're looking at it. I just wonder if they were like, this cause there's I, a lot of I just wondered if that, like, when they picked him up and the second one, like, showed up and was like, Ozzo, you fucking idiot. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Are you serious? Like we went all the way over there to pick up somebody and you got this guy. You could have got it, anyone. You yeah. got anybody. Like you didn't check. You didn't check at all. Yeah. Why, Why you got, you got that. You didn't even use your drill. Right. <laughs> fucking you got him high on space. Fucking space, space, space acid. Yeah. God damn it. Well, I felt bad. <laughs> uh, it's it's an interesting case. The most interesting part to me is the truck seemingly just being dropped in the bog. And like, yeah. being like, we don't know how, like, cause we were kind of joking about a pre-show. It's like you, the only real, like if you're, if you're not going to count it, just dropping under the sky, like it's reported, like by the people who are there, then he dukes of hazarded, like just <laughs> YOLO that thing. It. <laughs> well, it looks like bug. those Duke boys got <laughs> themselves into a heap of trouble. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> like He's frame above the bar. <laughs> like uh, but there was like, you know, other than the truck looking like a piece of shit, there was not enough damage. To like, I thought the bumper and shit was missing. Was that what? I, I didn't that, 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 that truck. Yeah, that truck was, was the old truck. Great. Yeah, that truck was. No, that, that truck was beat to shit. Yeah, but um, that was by all accounts before. Like, I, and I think no, according no. to Carl, in his inter- like that interview that he did on that and that one. Uh, on that one YouTube video, he did um the, the like he didn't he say like there whatever. were no tracks or they said they couldn't find any tracks. They said there was no tire there was there was no, no t- tire marks. So no t- the, like one of the ways they found him is they found like the a piece of the truck like they found the bumper and shit and that's what brought them to the park. Sure. Okay. Well, okay. So they found the bumper hanging somewhere. Like the bumper was so barely hanging on when uh, Ozza one picked the truck up. Right, the bumper just fell off. Right, it wasn't enough. Hey, was, the zap straps were so brittle at that point; they just fucking broke. Um, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's an interesting case because you know when you listen to this guy talk, he doesn't he doesn't like he doesn't strike me as a bullshitter. The person who I do not like in this case. Any interview with his wife, his wife, his wife reads from her book that she wrote word for word. She doesn't recount her mm. from memory. She reads passages from the book that she wrote. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the most elaborate story I've ever heard <laughs> to cover somebody's ass for wrecking the company truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like just own up, buddy. It's all good. <laughs> Like he took the fucking, he took the company. Everybody knows you drive the company truck. You drive it like you stole it. Yeah, of course. You take liberties, right? Oh, yeah. Poor bastard got stuck in the bog. 
roughed himself up a little bit, conked his head. It's either that or actually when he stopped to help those fucking guys fix their fix their truck. This is the seventies. They dosed his coffee. And they got him high <laughs> as fuck. Oh, oh shit. I never even thought about right? that. Like, that's the only other it's there's three options. Or it's real. <laughs> right? He I never even thought about that, that he they potentially dosed oh. him. And the other interesting thing too is is the fact that let's say he was dosed. One of the things that kind of stood out to me is he's an oil rigger, right? Yeah. What do they deal with? Drills. What did the alien have on his arm? A drill. Per- fucking randomly. drill. A fucking drill on his arm, right? Like, yeah. kind of seems like a fucking. It, it, a, you know, and like fr- from experience in that of like having a drill on your arm. Yeah, a drill arm. Uh, no, just like like shroom trips and stuff. It's like sometimes you do incorporate things that you're thinking about or have thought about that they'll come into play in, in that kind of hallucination. So then when, how long before this did he get his vasectomy? That was, uh, that was almost ten, nine years. Oh, okay. Cause I was going to think maybe he's fucking have some second thoughts was vasectomy too. So he's just, you know, he's imagining fresh. that he's getting rejected because he doesn't fucking, well, no, yeah, it would have been a good thing. Cause he'd be like, I got to go back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, well, it's just, you know, I mean, it could have been a thing where he, yeah, he was trying to right? he, having regrets, but this is like, no, it's yeah. a good thing. Like trying to convince himself it was a good thing. I mean, it's a choice, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's an interesting case. When you look at it, um, we want to know your thoughts. Crazy. Let us know your, let us know your thoughts on social media. Uh, we're going to be posting tons of clips of this episode. So let us know in the clips what you think. Um, if you was, yourself has experienced space acid, yeah, make sure to let us know. Get us a hit. Four days. <laughs> Jesus. God damn. Hell yeah. It's fun. All right. This week, theory of the week, I think we're going back to a, uh, a five star review, I believe. Woo! Um, easy way to get a uh, theory of the week. Um, you don't have to send us stuff. You don't. You don't, you don't have, have to send us I mean, it's always appreciated. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't it hurt. Doesn't it hurt. doesn't hurt. You don't have to. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. hurt. You can't. Hey, I'm just waiting for somebody. To, hey, listen, you send us to fucking Turkey. Theory of the year, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> easy. Um, now, this is easy way to get it. Go Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify. Apple Podcasts is the best way to leave us a five-star review. Uh, and you can do a nice little write-up. Um, this week's five-star or this week's year of the week is uh, Dave Lando Calrissian. Uh, he Ooh. left us a new five-star review, and it says, fun way to pass the time. Just discovered you guys. Big fan. Keep up the good work. Nice and easy. How did you not Short read that? Like, how did how did you not read like, read that? Like Billy D. I can't do a Billy D. Oh man, <laughs> gotta try. Hell yeah! I can't even think about it. I think how he talks. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does he talk? How am I doing a Billy? How does Billy really D talk? Really fucking cool. Oh, all that cool. Cool. That's never. I'll never do that. Yeah, you can't nail that. Have one. you heard He's got my some voices, voice? but not that. I one. just think of Billy D screaming in the side like that. <laughs> Anyways, if you're not supporting the show by now, you want early access to all the case files, ad free, all the bonus stuff, you gotta go to aliantheorist.com. You gotta hit the support tab. You gotta choose Patreon or Supercast. Support your boys, support your favorite show. We'd appreciate it. This week's new supporters, we got Angelica. Spaceman Spiff 21. That guy's taking space fucking acid for sure. Hondo. Just Jake and Popa Falopa goes up in their pledge. And listen, so much l- for listen, supporting listen, the show. Uh, we're guessing you noticed. We also noticed. That's not a lot of new donations for this episode. We're never going to get fucking hair if <laughs> we don't start getting some help here. All right? Look at us. Right? Hideous. Hideous. Continuous. Right? You want to watch live stream and see some hair? Come on. Fuck, dig deep. It's the, the seasons of giving. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, help us with our Christmas miracle. Patreon.com slash alien theories podcast. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies.
hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these in, broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get ac full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video